Today is family picture day. Paul, he is not feeling it. We have those pictures taken to remember this and quarantine, time. quarantine time. Oh, uh, why did you bring those into my house? For him to be awake at 12.40 in the morning, screaming like that isn't quite normal, but. Bon dia, gente. Good morning. Happy day. Uh, today's, I don't know what today is. Today is family picture day. We are literally gonna go sit on the front porch or do something just right out front of our house and do family pictures. All right, everybody look right here. Justin. Hi, Jesse. Oh, he is not feeling it. Jay. Can you give me the mom? All right, so we just finished up with our family pictures and I have to tell you guys something funny. Brielle and I are wearing twin outfits. We did we not plan it. We didn't plan it. We didn't plan it, we just are. And um, Cosette's wearing a dress of Brielle's. Bodie wanted to be a jazz fan. And Ember is wearing a jumpsuit, which she actually looks dressed more dressed up than I probably would have pictured her being. But I did not tell the kids one thing to wear. I just said, go get dressed. And it's just funny because all of the outfits kind of like fit their personalities so well. So it's just a cute memory. Um, we have those pictures taken just kind of to remember this weird, crazy and quarantine, time. quarantine time. Yes, are we, Bodie's our favorite jazz player right now since there are no jazz players playing right now, right? So also we just picked up the lunches from the school well, I guess from the bus stop. But and the kids news, are gonna eat some lunch. News, what? What's your good Donovan news? Donovan got a cure from the corona. Oh yeah, yeah. Donovan. And and, but Rudy Gobert still has it. Does he? I don't know. I thought you'd be better by now. Rudy Gobert anyway, still has it. so uh, it's a beautiful day today. Again, it's supposed to be almost 70 degrees, which is amazing. So we're gonna try to spend as much. The kids got up and got their schoolwork done bright and early so that we could try to spend as much time as we could outside today, which I am all for. We're gonna try to get outside, be in the sunshine, enjoy the fresh air while we can, because let me tell you guys, spring weather in Logan is insane. Like today it could be 70 and tomorrow it could be snowing. So when you have good weather, you have to take advantage. All right, friends, I am making some cookies right now for the kids. Oh yeah, you know, making cookies. Here, beep beep. Just what we like to do these days, beep beep. So I'm making cookies because um, we like cookies and we like eating. And also it is my friend's daughter's 18th birthday today. You know, it's a big birthday. And she gets to see no friends. She can't go anywhere. So I am making some cookies to, to drop by on the porch of my friend's daughter. So okay. I'm making no bake cookies, which this is a super easy recipe. I think I made them the other day and I didn't tell people. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Hurry, go get a pencil, run. You can find this recipe all over the internet. It's not complicated, but it is two cups of sugar. You heard that right. Two cups, four tablespoons of cocoa, half a cup of butter, which is one cube, and then half a cup, yes. Half a cup of milk. Then you melt it all together like this, and then you bring it to a boil, and you boil it for about two minutes. And then you add a half a cup of peanut butter, and three cups of oats, and then you, whoa! There's the boy. And then you just set it out for them to like, kind of harden. And they're delicious, and they're chocolatey, and they're easy. So, if you guys need a cookie to make in the quarantine like us, because all we do is eat, Try these ones out. Says we're gonna um go. Mom said we're gonna make a fire pit. That my, that mom said. Oh, it looks pink. Oh, excuse me. Um. Let's see what Dad's doing. We're gonna get two. It's a chainsaw. Cars. We're gonna cut up some wood. Have ourselves a fire. Gosh, that's loud. Okay, I'm back in charge of the camera. Ember, I'm sure you did a great job. We've got. He looks like he looks like Elton John. Look at these sunglasses. Oh, Jay, are you too cool for school, bro? 
I dressed him up. <laughs> Is that a yes? He feels awesome, huh? I dressed him up. Good job, you did great. So we got this new fire pit because every once in a while it's it's nice to have a real fire. I love. In fact, okay, before we even put in this fire pit, it, there was a there was a spousal battle. And by battle I mean Brie won. Um, she wanted a gas fire pit. I wanted a natural wood burning Jay wants a scooter. Wood burning fire pit, because I love a natural fire. Especially if you're roasting hot dogs or food or whatever over the top of it. Anyway, so we went to Al's, got one for 20 bucks. They're normally over a hundred dollars. And um, I think it's just owls.com, ALS.com. They're friends of ours that actually own the store, and I was excited to have a real fire tonight. I was hoping the wind would die down, but it's still pretty windy tonight, so we might have to put that off to another day. In the meantime, this is happening. <laughs> Did you just laugh and spit out the contents in your mouth? <laughs> Bodie just spit water all over the ground. Don't worry, it didn't get on you, bud. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love real fire. We have a fire! Derek started the fire! Love it. Real fire. Real fire for once. Let's go get some buns, have ourselves some dinner. Ooh, hot dogs over a real fire. Yes, please. They taste so much better. Maybe they don't taste different at all, but in my mind, they're better. All right, we had to come inside because the wind was cramping our style, so we took our roasted hot dogs into the house. And it's warmer, so you know, it's a win-win. But it was, it was funny, like with the real fire, because you know, we do fires all the time at our house. You guys know that we love sitting out there, but our fire pit is gas, and that is a real fire with wood. And our kids, our kids were like, did not know what to do with the smoke and the smell and stuff. It was so funny. So they definitely, they definitely were like, real campfire first timers it was funny so they're just eating some hot dogs really quick and then we'll keep you updated all right we're wrapping up dinner i'm, I'm finishing up myself as ember proceeds to show me what she found today in in, in our cup Those are her new pets. let's see your pets what do you Look, have there? there's a little worm in there there's a worm and there's those big worms oh the one got wrapped up let me see Oh, why did you bring those into my house? They don't eat grass. They just what do what do worms even eat? I don't even know. They just absorb nutrients of some sort. Okay, we got to get these kids into bed, clean this house, our typical evening routine, and then go to bed around one o'clock in the morning. In the morning. Bye. Hey, did you like sitting by the real fire though? Was that kind of was that new? Was that fun? Huh? And so so. All right, let's get you ready for bed. Come on. So maybe. Okay, kids are in bed. And now, instead of cleaning the kitchen, Bree's procrastinating, and she's gonna bust out some TikTok. And I'm always one of her props. She always, she always needs my help. So we'll find, out, we'll find out here in just a minute what we're about to do. But that was fun tonight. I love sitting by the fire so much. We did a lot. We did that a lot as a kid. And um, it's just a fun thing to do. I, I like being, being able to just gather around with the whole family and... Just enjoy. That dang wind though. Yeah. The wind ruins everything. The wind, wind. ruins everything. Wind. It's okay, it was still fun. All right, so what are we gonna do here, bud? Okay, we're gonna just do this thing where you lay on your back and hold your knees up like this. Like this. Okay. And then I'm gonna lay on you with my hands right here and my knees in your hands and then we're gonna go same <sighs> We're gonna move same leg, That's same. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, da. I it. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, da. I it. You got it? Got it. It's not complicated. Wait, teach me again. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, okay, dun. I got I it. it. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. I <laughs> it. <laughs> Well, that was fun. I like attention. Attention. 
Attention. More attention. Attention now, please. Thank you. Uh, we still haven't cleaned the kitchen. I mean, we did some of it, but Jay woke up. Right a few minutes after we finished, he woke up and he was thirsty, so we just got him some milk and putting him back down to bed. Love all our kids. This has all been interesting the last few weeks and as we're all navigating through the situation, I just wanna say thank you all for your comments and they're shut back off again, but <clears throat> it gave us an opportunity to connect with some of you guys again. But it also kind of gave us some feedback on things that we didn't realize maybe we were saying or doing that might have seemed insensitive towards the situation. and. We got some emails and some comments and things along the lines of, of, of exactly that, how insensitive it seemed and that we just don't care about anybody else but our own family or, or our own problems and just know that, that we very much so do care about worldwide the situation that's going on and, and truly do hope for the best as soon as possible. Oh, I hope he's not. For him to be awake at 12.40 in the morning screaming like that isn't quite normal but suffice it to say you care we love you guys we appreciate you thank you for following along thank you for your support your comments everything we try to reciprocate that just in what we do every day and upload so love you guys and uh, be sure to come back tomorrow we'll see you then Thanks.